welcome to an exciting episode of Music Barn. My name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk to you about Beat Detective. Beat Detective is an audio quantizing tool in Pro Tools. It's hidden under Event and can be called up by Command 8. While a bit tedious, it does work like a dream on anything percussive. It does not stretch audio and leaves your sound immaculate. And that is why I take Beat Detective over any other sound stretching tool. But this is not a debate video. This video is purely to explain the basics of how the tool works on a single track. How to use Beat Detective on a multi-track drum recording will be revealed in another video. So, let's select the region we want to quantize and have a listen first. And as you can hear, it starts off well, it's not too bad, but it drifts off, it drags on, and we gotta fix it. With the region selected, the first thing we need to do is create beat markers. So we're gonna capture our selection. We're gonna work from bar two until bar four. It's a good idea to select full bars. Anything in between bars can get a little tricky. Beat Detective tends to get confused, starts putting things everywhere. Look, it's a bit of an older tool, you know, just cut it some slack. I like to quantize this in 16th and with this all set up, time to analyze. You can control the sensitivity of your analysis with this fader here and decide how many transients it needs to read. The second task is separation. Every transit will be a cut and every hit will be a separate region. Now that we have separate regions, we get to task number three, which is conforming, the actual quantizing of where we want those regions to be. The accuracy of your quantization can be set by the strength control. A lower setting will maintain the groove and in the organic feel of your performance. Check it out. However, if you run your performance along with drum loops and, and tracks and clicks and whatnot, you may have to push this to 100%. Do not judge this quantizing tool by visuals only. Just listen and listen again until it sounds and feels right. Beautiful. Now the only thing left to do is to smooth out the quantized track. We can just fill the gaps, but I prefer to fill and crossfade. And in theory, we are finished. In reality, we are not, because Beat Detective is still a machine. And so the last thing left to do, and I cannot stress this enough, is go through every fade. Check every fade. I'm gonna go quickly through this. I put myself in slip mode and with the left and right arrow keys, I can go to the start or the end of my selection and check these fades for anything that does not belong there. And that looks perfectly fine. Now, once you are happy with your quantization of your track, with all these floating regions, it's a good idea to consolidate your track. We put ourselves back into grid mode and a little fade at the end wouldn't hurt. And now we're gonna consolidate this. And there we go. And that is that. In the next video, we will use Beat Detective in more detail by quantizing this multi-track drum performance. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Chris from Music Barn. I hope you got something out of this. More videos are coming very soon, so drop by anytime. Catch you later.